Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beth. And for today's video, I am going to be discussing the new bronzer from Kosas. And if you're a little confused because you thought Kosas already had a bronzer, uh, you are correct. They had this bronzer here. So I'm going to be kind of doing a side-by-side -side comparison of these two. Uh, but this one just launched from Kosas. Uh, I purchased it from Sephora, it retails for $35 for six grams of product. Uh, on the website, it is called the Sunshow Glowy Warmth Talc-Free Baked Bronzer. So if you are interested in talc-free makeup, uh, this may be one that you are interested in. However, I will point out that the old bronzer was also talc-free. So I think they may be emphasizing the talc-free component a little bit more in the marketing. Uh, the box itself just says the Sun Show Glowy Warmth Baked Bronzer. Uh, it says it's a clean, talc-free bronzer for soft, glowy warmth with the prettiest subtle sheen baked in Italy. Uh, and they say to use the Kosas Contour Fan Brush. Uh, and it's vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, free of lots of different things, which I think as some people have pointed out, uh, seems to be a little bit of an issue with some of their products because they are preservative-free. Uh, but anyway, this is a baked product, so I'm not as concerned with that. So before I get into kind of the side-by-side -side comparison here, I will note that I guess Kosas and I have a little bit of a story to past. Uh, I've tried a lot of their products, not their entire lineup, but up to a certain point, I think I tried everything they had. And it seems like they are going through a bit of a reformulation journey at the moment. So. Uh, one of the videos I filmed reviewed the new eyeshadow that they launched to replace their older formula that was much beloved. Uh, that was pretty unsuccessful. I don't think anyone really spoke highly of it. I reviewed their foundation uh, and I am wearing this one today. This is their lightest shade in 100, very light neutral 100. And I think it's still a little bit yellow for me, but the shade I originally reviewed was 120 and that was uh, definitely too peachy orangey on me. And then I also filmed a full face, I think, when the cloud set first launched. Uh, so just to let you know what I have already on my face, I have uh, the Glossier Future Dew. I just got this as a deluxe sample from Sephora, but it's a half ounce. So pretty generous deluxe size here. Put it side by side. Uh, so I used that, uh, and then I also used this Kosas foundation. I used their concealer, and I also used the cloud set. So I feel like I'm still looking a little, a little luminous. I might go ahead and set with a different powder, but I just wanted to let you know kind of what I have on as a base here. So I feel like Kosas is a brand that I want to like more than I think I actually do, kind of like Patrick Ta in a way. Uh, like some other products I really do love. Uh, I love the finish of this foundation, but the shade has just been a little tricky. The concealer I think is the same way, it's just a little tricky. Uh, if you have very dry skin and you want a very light setting powder, then you would be interested in this one, but with the other foundation products I have on, I think I need a little bit more of a heavy duty powder for that. Uh, and their Brow Wiz, I've really enjoyed. I'm wearing this as well. Uh, this is in the shade Taupe, and I've actually thought about repurchasing that because I feel like it's getting a little um, kind of old and dried out. So I uh, have really enjoyed this product, and their lip oils are also really nice. I'm wearing the shade Malibu. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know that I don't have it out for Kosas, uh, but I feel like some of their reformulation efforts have been more successful than others, perhaps. Uh, like, I think this foundation has gotten pretty widespread acclaim. Uh, they originally had those tinted oil products, but like the lip liners they launched, I think have since been pulled. So uh, there's that. And I haven't tried any of their brushes or their sponge. Haven't tried the lip liners. Haven't tried the Glow IV. That seems to have gotten pretty, I guess, negative reviews, at least for the lighter shades. Uh, I did see that Tina from the Fancy Face has gotten one of the darker shades and she really likes that one. So if you do have darker skin, maybe look into it. Uh, but the lighter shades do seem to be more glare bombs than anything else. I uh, haven't tried the spray on serum or the lip booster, but those seem to be fairly popular. And I haven't tried the brow pop, their brow pencil, but I don't really gravitate towards brow pencils generally. 
and I haven't tried their lash serum. So that's kind of an overview. I've pretty much tried, I think, everything else that they have put out. So I guess the reason for the reformulation, it wasn't to remove talc because as I said, the original was talc free to begin with. So there wasn't that to contend with. Uh, but I think part of it was to kind of have more cohesive branding because as you can tell, the foundation cap is yellow. Other uh, concealers have a yellow cap and their new Glow IV product is also yellow. So I think they're just trying to have more of a consistent branding. And they also, I think, reformulated. So I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two formulas. Uh, I think the first six ingredients of both are the same, uh, but after that, there's a little bit of a variation. So it does seem like they reformulated. Although um, the packaging is identical, just a different color, really. And you can see this is more of an opaque label. I really need to do my nails, but I'm testing out a product, so I'm kind of in limbo there. Uh, anyway, but the Cosis label on this one is opaque, whereas this one was kind of frosted and then transparent. And I think these were, I'm guessing, made by the same manufacturer or the same lab because they have the same kind of imprint on the bottom there. So yeah, so a slight kind of formula difference, but I think what was the principal complaint for this product originally and why they probably relaunched it instead of just maybe adding new shades was at least my shade that I tried. So this was the shade Light, and according to them, it was a neutral bronze. It just, it leaned very kind of orange. I think in general, brands just seem to have difficulty coming up with a kind of believable bronze for fair skin tone because a lot of people with my complexion with freckles and everything we just don't tan naturally so to get kind of a sun-kissed look is just a little bit more challenging um so anyway so they i think redid the entire shade range again it's not like adding new shades although um the new shade these don't look too different in the viewfinder actually the new lightest shade is called waves and i'll give you the shade descriptions in a moment yeah i mean i did a bit of a heavier swatch on the model i think i'm actually able to build up more opacity with the newer one although this older one is older so there's that but yeah the the picture online made it look like this one was going to be a lot more kind of beigey peach so um, what I'll end up doing here once I stop yapping is to um, put one on one side of my face and put one on the other. Yeah, these both have the same gram weight and this waves they describe as a light bronze. And this is the shade light, which they describe as a neutral bronze. Uh, they also have a light medium bronze, a medium bronze, a medium deep bronze, and a deep bronze. So in the original line, it was just light, medium, and deep. So I don't have the kind of big fluffy brush that Hosas recommends for their product. Uh, I do have, I think the best version of that. I'm pretty sure all of Kosas's uh, brushes are synthetic. So I'm gonna use the BK103 brush and I do have my Sigma switch here so I can uh, use the same brush but clean it in between. Uh, so I'm going to start off with the old product, and I have to say, I do like this green color better than the yellow, but again, I understand. So honestly, I, like I said, should probably set my face. I didn't put any kind of contour or blush. I just wanted you to kind of be able to see. It is a very light light bronzer. I think let's kind of clean the brush off and I'll go in with this one. It does seem like it's kicking up a little bit more to begin with. I don't know if that's just because it's new. So I'll just try to kind of get off some of the excess. So I think it is pretty and I think applied this way again, trying to clean off my brush. It does give you a little bit more of a sun-kissed radiance. Uh, I will have my older videos linked below. And I don't know if it's because I'm using a synthetic brush 
Like normally I like to use uh, the Ruffer 22 brush. So try to get that mostly clean. So this is a natural hair brush and going again into the old product. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's, it's just applying softer than I remember it, which I guess is a good thing. If you want to kind of limit your glow, it's probably not the product for you. And again, with the foundation match, like you can see kind of my neck and chest, you know, I'm looking a little bit more bronzed and dewy overall. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of surprised by this because I thought they were going to look more different on the skin than they actually do. I think if anything, like the new formula is more like pigmented. All right, so let's see what Kosas has to say. What do you have to say for yourself? They say it's a new look with new shades and sunny yellow packaging. So maybe it's just that they did add those two kind of intermediate shades. So the light medium and medium deep and the light medium and the deep are the same in theory and then there's a little bit of a formula change but otherwise like the packaging is essentially the same it's just in a different color I'm guessing that's what happened but if I show you the pictures side by side of the model with the new shade and the model with the old shade it doesn't look like it's the same product I mean granted it's a different model but I was expecting something, I don't know, more of kind of a light reflecting powder. Like I even pulled uh, some of my hourglass powders because the way they were describing it, I thought it could have been close to the radiant light shade from hourglass. I'll show you side by side. And these are also, I think, baked powders. Yeah, pretty pretty similar. So if you haven't already tried the Kosas powder, Kosas bronzer, and you already have the radiant light from Hourglass, you maybe can just make do with that, especially for the light shade. So anyway, that, that was an interesting journey. So I, I don't think this was kind of a Kosas radically changed the formula, even though it does seem like there were some tweaks. I think this is just a shade expansion and new packaging is kind of where I'm I'm landing. Again, some subtle differences. This is the old bronzer and this is the new one. And as you saw, I was really kind of going in and building it. So it probably wouldn't be as apparent for a normal application. But anyway, I think that's the end of this kind of random little video that I decided to film. So I hope you guys found that helpful and it satisfied any curiosity you have regarding this new Kosas product. Let me know if you tried the old and or the new product and what you think. Uh, but until next time, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and I will talk to you soon. Bye.